With the patient supine, a midline posterior incision near the olecranon tip is made elevating a full thickness lateral flap. This minimizes nerve injury and allows medial elbow access if collateral ligament repair is needed. Alternatively, a lateral elbow approach may be used as it exposes the radial head at its middle for better visualization, while posterior incision can be advantageous if surgeon needs access to medial side. Retract the radial shaft for better exposure. Resect and remove the radial head and fragments at the radial neck fracture level, avoiding excessive resection. Use the awl to open the metallary canal, then sequentially ream with the smallest, 4.5 mm, to the largest reamer that fits easily. The largest reamer determines the stem trial and implant diameter. The cutting teeth length matches standard stem implants, with a laser mark indicating long stem implants. After reaming and selecting the stem diameter, use the planer to create a smooth surface on the radial neck. The planer's cutout aids insertion. The bone fragments from the radial head can be used to determine the correct implant head diameter by testing them with a radial head sizer for the best fit. Assemble the selected trial stem and head. Place them in the joint, reduce the joint, and assess sizing through the full range of motion. Assemble the final implant using the assembly instruments. Retract the radial shaft for better exposure, and use finger control to place the implant into the joint space. Perform a final check by manipulating the elbow through its full range of motion. Ensure the implant's proximal edge does not extend beyond the radial notch of the ulna. Repair the lateral collateral ligament and extensor muscle origins to the lateral condyle, then assess stability through flexion extension. Close the skin and subcutaneous tissues in layers. Oxen.